Hi buddies, welcome to Kaggle Titan solution video. This is the second video and we previously covered how you download the data and basic data analysis using pandas and seaborne charts. So what is feature engineering? Feature engineering is the process of using domain knowledge of the data to create features that make machine learning algorithm works. So what is feature first? Feature means these columns. These columns are the features like P class, name, sex, these are the features, EG. And the feature engineering is one to fill out some missing field. As you can see, here's NAN, not a number. There are some missing field and we are going to use some technique to fill out this missing field. Second, we are going to change this text as numerical values. Like this sex has male and female, this is easy to understand for us but not for the machine learning classifier. Mostly the machine learning classifier are using the numeric value so we are going to change these values as a numeric value like 0 or 1. And also if we find some not informative features here, we are going to extract some information from this feature and uh, create new features from the not important features for here. Example of the name is not that important, but we can extract the title here, Mr., Mrs., Miss, and create the title feature here. That's what we are going to do in this video. So let's get it. So first, for the domain knowledge, we can see this picture. As you can see in this picture, the Titanic at the first time hit the iceberg from its head. So head of the ship first going down to the water. So as you can see here, the third class, third class cabins here uh, have had more chance to die than this third class. Also second class here in the first class has a comparably high chance to survive than the third class. So you can see this class, P class, and um, P class, and here the cabin is very informative information from the data set. You can dive deep into this picture, but I will stop from here and go over to the next features here. So first I'm going to go over its name. <laughs> As I said before, the name is not that informative, but there's one informative uh, thing here. As you can see here, Mr. and uh, Mrs. This information gives us if this guy is a man or woman, if married or not. So I'm going to get this information from name. I'm going to just remove the name field in this data set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine train data set and test data set and uh, loop through this one and going to create a title data set title column here and going to extract only the title from the name after extract the title field has this mr to the sir i'm going to only use mr miss mrs and the others i'm going to put others bin so i'm going to have four category here mr miss mrs and others i'm going to use this title mapping so I'm going to change this title as a numeric value, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So after I change it, you can see the title here, 0, 2, 1, 2, 0. Now it's a numeric value, right? And the test value also, because I combined and changed it, test value also has a title with a numeric value. And if you see the bar chart, the title relationship with the survived, as you can see, the mister. Basically, guy, they they uh, highly chance to die, and the green color and the red color here, they high they have a high chance to survive than the dead here. <clears throat> so this is a pretty informative information. I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to drop the name from the data set because I don't need a name. So we don't have a name in the data set here, and the testing data set we don't have a name because I dropped it. And the next feature I'm going to go over is the sex. So we have basically male and the female. This is a text and uh, for our classifier, I'm going to change this one as a numeric value, like male as zero, female as one. You can see the bar chart here. The guys uh, died more and the women comparably survived here. And the next feature I'm going to see is age. First thing, uh, age has some missing field. So, we need a technique to fill out some missing field for the AG. And you remember, we already created title. 
<clears throat> so what if we get the median value of the title's uh, age and uh, put the missing value uh, according to this title? They will be much effective we just use average age of the whole Titanic people, right? So I'm going to do here is I'm going to fill out the missing value. I will group by the title, Mr. Mrs. Miss. I'm going to get the average or the median value. I use the median value of from each title. Fill out the missing field for this one. So if this guy, I don't know if this guy is age, but this guy is a Mr. Then I'm going to use the median value of the Mr.'s age. Uh, and uh, if the missing value is from the Mrs., then I'm going to use just median value from the average age from the misses so i will give some uh, some meaningful value in the missing field here and if we draw the chart here then you can see like the, until 16 years old there's a high chance to survive and uh, here high chance to die and uh, here high chance to survive and uh, here little high chance to survive and high chance to die if you want to see the close look here you can use the x limit 0 to 20 this will give like the 0 to 20 years old and the 20 to 30. Those kind of the technique will help you to experiment on this AG here. So after my experiment, then um, here, ex after my experiment, I decide to distinguish like the under 16, like child, young, adult, mid-age, and senior here. Basically five bins here. <clears throat> After binning, you can see informative chart here. So if we don't use the binning technique here, uh, it is very hard to see in the bar chart that because we have the one years old, two years old, until the like 80 years old, and uh, this will have multiple colors here. But after I binning, it's like a categorical numerical value. You can see kind of trend and pattern from here, and also classifier, also like this technology will predict well with this binning technology as well. The next feature I'm going to see is embarked. Embarked means the, where did you abort this Titanic? Well, uh, let's say we have city A and city B, and the city A has rich people, and the B has comparatively poor people. So city A may take like the uh, first class, and the city B may take the third class. So this embarked information is also informative, right? So I'm going to use the P class here, and going to see the chart here. <coughs> So as you can see, the green color Q, the first class doesn't have the green color here. That's one of the information. And uh, first class, second class, and third class, uh, more than 50% are from the S embarkation. So I can just fill out the missing field for the embarkation with S because all of the classes, uh, most of the majority embarkation was from the S. I just fill with S for the missing value here. And also change this text as the numeric value. The next one I'm going to go over is the fair. So fair also have some missing value. I'm going to use the pick less, pick less because fair is very relative to the class. First class is expensive and the third class is completely low. So I'm going to get the median value per each classes and uh, fill out the missing value for fair. And uh, if you draw the chart, it will like this, like the very cheap ticket. Cheap ticket died more, and the expensive ticket they survived, right? We can get this pattern, and we are going to use this one for our classifier as well. You can <clears throat> see deeply using this x limit here as well. And uh, after, after my experiment, uh, I use bin trick here as well, like lower than 17, 17 to 30, 30 to 100, and uh, more than 100. After I bin this one, then you get this fare from the 0 to 2. The next one is cabin. So cabin is a room in the ship. So third class cabin, they high chance to die. And uh, the first class cabin, they high chance to survive compared to the third class, right? So I'm going to use this cabin information. So if you check the using the value count here, the first character is always character, right? First character is always character. Uh, I'm going to ignore the number here, so I'm going to extract only first character from here. <clears throat> you can see the first class has the A, B, C, D, E. And the second class and third class actually doesn't have the A, B, C, A, B, C, right? So this is informative. I'm going to use this one as a bin here. And I gave like 
0 0.4, 0 0.8 because I want to give the similar range for the each features. <clears throat> this is called like the feature scaling. For example, if we don't give the similar range, then the, the classifier may work improperly. For example, uh, sex we have male and female, we use 0 and 1. And the fare is like the one dollar to like the five hundred dollar. Uh, mostly the classifier, mostly learning classifier is using the Euclidean distance. And uh, zero to one is just distance is just one. While the ten dollar ticket to twenty dollar ticket distance is like ten. But I think the male female information is more informative than the ten dollar ticket to twenty dollar ticket. So we want to give some similar range, ten to twenty. Instead of 10 to 20, we want to give like range from 0 to 5. That's the reason why I gave like the point here so that I can give the, the range from 0 to 3 here. And the next feature I want to see is the family size here. We have the CSP and the PARCH here. Uh, it's just a sibling plus spouse count and the parent and children count. So let's just combine it and just say the family size because I uh, because I think the if the guy is just single, so alone in the boat they may die, and if the guy has family in the boat they need to survive to to raise their baby, right? So let's just combine this one and show the graph here. So in this chart you can see if you aboard the Titanic alone, there's high chance to die, while the guys like have family like the sibling spouse or parents they have chance to survive so this information is very informative i'm going to use this mapping and change the family size with numeric value here good so ticket has some information but i'm not going to go over the ticket here because i think this is necessary so i'm going to drop the ticket information and the sibsp prch because these two information are already combined in the family size okay and eventually we have the numerical value here feature vector so we have the numbers here one row is a feature vector for our machine learning classifier in next video i'm going to train and uh, validate and uh, test with this feature vector okay today we finished the feature engineering now we have beautiful feature vectors for every passengers in the next video we, which is the most fun part, we will train machine learning classifier with today's feature vector and the validate using k fold to cross validation and submit to Kaggle to get real prediction score. Um, there are many brilliant ideas for Titanic solution and I also refer these blogs and corners for my video. I really want to say thanks for these blogs and corners for sharing idea and I hope this video also can contribute for data scientists. My source code is always in my GitHub. So you can practice. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.